last time on The Walking Dead. Since I can remember, Clem's always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to always aim for the head, to atone when I did something bad, to show mercy sometimes. I always listen to Clem, always, but I've been thinking more. I don't know if she's right every time. She told me to shoot her if she got bit. That doesn't feel right. We're doing a lot of bad things to save our friends, to protect our home. And when Clem told me to shoot Lily, I got mad, so mad. I don't, I don't know what I feel anymore. I don't know if Clem knows either, but I remember all the rules. And the first one is never go alone. Stay afloat much longer. There! We can climb down from there. Well, we have to get there first. Okay, we've got to jump. It's far. I know it's far, but it's the only way. You'll have to go first. You'll need a running start. I don't know, Clem. <sighs> Come on, you can do this, AJ. Just run and jump. You got this. I got this. I got this. AJ, what do we do when we're scared? We push through it. We don't let it take over. No, we don't.
you think you're going? Sorry about your tongue. Thanks. I owe you one. Get the fuck off of me! Are you okay? Yeah. My ass is a little singed, but I'm good. You, I was... I was so afraid you... Me too. But we're okay. We're both okay. Lou. What happened to Minnie? I don't know. I lost track after the explosion. God, you guys made it. Fuck. There's more walkers than I can count. The explosion drew them right to us. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. We just have to get off this beach. She's gonna get herself killed. Oh my god. We've got a break for it. Now! Everyone run for the cart. I'll stay back and cover you. I'll be right behind you. The second I see an opening, I'll make a break for it. See you on the other side. Damn right. 
AJ, go with them. No, I'm staying with you. Thanks, kiddo. to move we'll have to squeeze through there we don't know where it goes well we do know there's walkers in the other direction but move it dummy I saw his eyes when he did it I saw the bloodlust in them what are you talking about nothing go Not for long. Damn it. It's so dark in here. We can't move forward without a way to see. I'll figure something out. Burn. Another one. Hmm. Gotta get home before AJ can play with it. Swimming through that. Okay. Just needs something to burn. Damn it, it's all 
all too wet to burn. Might look nice in our room. Just have to get home first. It's so dark in here. I'm working on it. It doesn't feel safe. There's too much danger outside. I wish I had a gun. We'll be out of here soon. Clem, did you... did you see Minnie out there? I didn't see her anymore. I saw her on the beach. She was bitten, Ten. So, she'll go to the next place with Sophie. They can be together. That's good. If they get in here, we're going to have to kill them. I don't want to do that. another tunnel over there. It's too far. We just gotta... We gotta find something to help us cross. The walkers are getting closer. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know it. If I yank that out of there, we would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. Could work as a bridge. Okay, we just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. And then I'll take
Which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? You brought this on yourself. Oh! Lim! But it's not too late. Let go! For him, at least. <laughs> Follow us and I sprain your ankle. Follow us after that, I break your leg. I won't let you take him. I won't let you make him a monster. Not any further. Clem! If you want to live, let him go. Don't test me. Violence again. Unsurprising. Ha! I'll kill you before I leave her. Ha! You did this. You made him this way. You had him empty an entire clip into that woman's head. It was only half a clip. Is this what you wanted? A boy who only sees an answer at the end of a barrel. She deserved to die, and you know it. By his hand? In that way? I've seen what rage like that can do if it remains unchecked. Believe me, you don't want to see it with him. You told me you wouldn't let him become a killer. I liked it. I liked killing her. It made me feel strong. I don't care if it was murder. I don't care if it was anything. It felt good. Best feeling I've had in a long time. Alvin Jr. That is not what I taught you. Not about how you feel, how you treat people, how you think. I'm teaching myself now. The wrong lessons. Says you. I never taught you to find joy in killing. AJ, you can't really believe that. Please. Think about what you're saying. Stay out of this, or I swear I'll claw your fucking Neither eyes out! Neither of you are listening! Anyone that wants to hurt us should be dead! And I'm not sorry about it, and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. AJ... You say you didn't teach me this, when you did. You always said surviving was the most important thing. Be strong, be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head! Killing Lily made us safe. There's nothing wrong with liking that. I can't listen to this. You think you can change him? Do it then. Talk to him. I'm not gonna stop, Clem. I I'm not gonna let people that wanna hurt us just... walk around. You can't tell me to stop and expect me to get it. You can't tell me to stop when you know it just confuses me. I know this world is hard. For all of us, and for you especially. But there's more to it than, than just survival. Like what? Rule one, never go alone. The very first rule is about how to survive. But where are the rules that are more important than that? Why aren't they first? And why are you just telling me now? You can't just make up new rules, Clem. It confuses me. The older you get, the more rules you have to learn. Surviving is what you needed to learn first. But life gets more complicated. Everything gets more complicated. That includes you. Killing Lily wasn't complicated. I need you to hear me, AJ. You can't talk like this about killing anyone. 
Even Lily. I've heard enough. It's obvious you can't teach him. <laughs> <laughs> just don't understand who we are. I understand you. I've seen your kind. The world is full of you. I've been you. All you know is violence. Death. He could live a peaceful life, but... But it's like you won't let him! It might seem hard to believe, AJ. I know it does, but listen to me. No one has to die anymore. Not humans. Not walkers! James, this philosophy of yours? This philosophy is what has kept me human! It's what will keep any of us human! It's just reckless! The world we live in, the way you think, is dangerous! No one can survive like this! Open your eyes, James. The world isn't as simple as you like to make it sound! So what is it, then? It may not be kill or be killed, but it's awful goddamn close. <sighs> I'll find my own way. Next time you need help, ask someone else. Him. What is it? He doesn't get it. Not like we do. Not like I do. Let me help you, Clem. Trust me to tell which people are bad. That I won't ever use my gun because I like it. But only to keep our friends safe. Please, you can trust me to decide when it's right. Okay. Really? You're growing up too fast, AJ, and that... that scares me. But you've seen things and done things no one your age should have to do. <sighs> you've earned my trust. If you say you won't ever enjoy killing, I believe you. I won't. I promise. Feel that? Yeah, that's the way out. left his mask behind. Come on. Coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. Uh, 
A sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon. You already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? Asim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know. Asim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. That's really nice of you to say, Ten. Thank you. That's okay. Now that we're out of danger and going back home, it just made me think of it. I like a sim. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just hiding. Huh? Violet! You made it. You're all alive. I couldn't believe you were really dead. I had to try and find you. You did find me. Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. Well, we were looking for you guys, and I... I thought you might be gone for good. Oh. Shit. I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie. For a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Lewis, even you and AJ, I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. Because you were afraid of losing someone else. It's understandable. I was a goddamn coward. I'm not a coward anymore. Jesus, everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, and what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlon said, how it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. My family lived in a trailer. Mm, what about you? Where'd you live? 
I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? I had a treehouse in the backyard. I used to take my walkie-talkie up there and play for hours. I'd pretend it was a ship and I was the pirate captain. Or it was an igloo and I was a hunter. <laughs> or a castle and I was a princess. Really? Like with frilly dresses and a tiara? Yeah, but also a sword. A warrior princess. Yeah, obviously. And the treehouse kept me alive when all this started. That's where I hid. <sighs> you know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. Hmm. <sighs> It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. It is worth it. Hell, we could even put in a treehouse. We've already got a bell tower. Okay, we'll build a bell tower house. Perfect. After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it. Defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. You name it. It was your idea. Texas. We're calling it Texas. You can't just name it Texas. Fine. Texas too. I want to help rebuild our school. You will, Ten. We all will. We can start as soon as we get back. Let's get home to Texas, too. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. That's far. Really far. Should be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. Come with me. 
You're dying. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm finally going someplace better. I want you there with me. Where everyone gets to be a, a person again? We're gonna go be with Mom and Dad and Sophie. Ten, look at me. I know that looks like her, but your sister is gone. I'm... Speak to him! Any of you! Please? Please, Minnie, stop! He needs to be with his family! Don't do this! Don't worry, Ten. She can try to stop me. But I am not going anywhere without you. It'll be over soon. Get down! Uh. I'll help the boys across the gap. Watch out for the walkers. Thing in my life. Vi, you'd be dead if he hadn't taken that shot. You think that's okay? 
Just gutting down one of our own. I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clem said I could, so I did. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Trap us. I know. I'll climb first and I'll catch you on the way down. Come on. Bye. Shit. I got it. Clem, look out. Oh. Run. Meet us back at the school. But we'll make it. Go. I got bit. We can't stay here. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Keep moving forward.
thinking about it, AJ. There's nothing we can do. There's gotta be something. We have to focus on getting back. Keep moving forward. Look! James is boring. It's empty now. We'll be safe in there.
inside! You did it. Now what? You need to find a way out of here. We can climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Please, try. You can't give up! You can't give up! I need you! I need you. You don't need me. Not anymore. Look what you did. All by yourself. <laughs> My little goofball. It's Alvin Jr. You'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. Hey, Jay, please. You're such a cutie. How did I get so lucky? Please, don't, don't be silly right now. Not right now. Please. I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never... Never go alone. So... So I can't leave. Not without you. AJ... It's your rule! You won't be alone. Not for long. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... Grab that axe. <sighs> There's a fresh, juicy walker just waiting to be gutted. You can use that axe to open it up. Cover yourself in walker guts. I know how to do it, Clem. I know you do. <laughs> Next rule. What do we do when the monsters come? Clem... AJ... Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay then. Fuck. And... The last rule? I, I wanna stay. With you. I know what'll happen. And, and I don't care. 
I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and... and stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. No one would hurt us. Just sitting. Forever. Please. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Last rule. No! What do we do if I get bit? <laughs> Are you gonna make me say it? Kill me. Don't let me become one of them. Be a good boy. Kill me. No. I'm coming. For a boy. He's about three years old. His name's Alvin Jr. Shit. 
Another one? Where the kids are. All right, all right. That way. There's a nursery. But I'm not letting one of you savages take a kid! Sorry. Don't worry. We're leaving soon. I've just got to grab a few things. No! No! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, now, where to? Can't go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay, we're survivors. And the first rule of survival is... Never go alone. <laughs> never go alone. Clem? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, Jay? Don't worry, okay? We're gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home, together. And I'll never leave you again. Gotcha. You like me now? <laughs> yeah, you like me. And I like you too. Boom, boom. Uh, I give up. All right, girl. I'm gonna go put this beer away. Stay here and keep watch. Looks like a bad place to sleep. <sighs> Nothing good. I should tell Willie this is here in case we need more bombs. Huh. It's 
getting kind of cold. I'll bring some sticks and stuff next time. You let your sister mess with your head too much. It must have been all that trauma on you. I hear you, girl. I hear you. Goodbye, Tim. Hey, hun. It's getting late. Just coming to check on you. Dinner soon. Okay. I'm all done anyway. That's a good scratching spot. I think it is. Oh, wow. You found her hat. It found me. Okay, hon. Um, I'm gonna go check on a sim over at the rabbit traps. Let's go home. <laughs> Let's go home.
What you doing there, goofball? Whoa, <laughs> easy there. You're out of bed. You're walking. And, and you have wood arm legs. Crutches. Crutches. I found your hat. It was in the creek down by the shack. I thought I wouldn't get it, but Rosie jumped right in and got it out of the water. It's all wet now. It's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. So, what do you think? It's... it's for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. Come on, let me push you. <laughs> this is fun. I love today. Me too. It's good to see you smile. You're the best, Clem. It's gonna get cold! Come on, let's go eat. We're coming! AJ. What? It's good. Seconds, please. Already? You even taste that? Idiot.
Yeah, that's the spot. A sim says he saw 10, 15 of them, a little bit past the old safe zone. I want you to go. You're the boss. We need to know who they are. Maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? How about you back me up, and we'll find that out together. Word on the street is you're a good running buddy. Best. Sending Violet smart. She knows what she's doing. Back at you, kid. That's why I want you to come with. It'd make me feel a lot better if you went. This is the part where you tell me you'll be really, really careful. You okay? Just... just getting tired. Hey, walk with me a sec. Gotcha. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. It's okay. I'll make you a new foot. Oh yeah? There must be a foot-making book somewhere. I'll ask Willie. Okay. Find me the foot book. <laughs> All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was will see, and your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hope we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? You tried really hard. That's all that matters, right? <sighs> it's part of it. A big part. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I was right to trust you back in the cave, to make the hard calls, even when I couldn't. You'll have to be strong for the both of us. You made it so I can. So, thank you. For everything. You're welcome, for everything.
Okay, okay. In you go. I wonder who you used to be. So cool, Disco Broccoli. Like, the coolest. Hey there, Alvin Jr. You ready to rock? Beat Nick. looking. I wonder if it has magic powers. Nah. Too bad he won't be able to draw another one. I hope you have extra crayons wherever you are, Tin. coming. 